So today I think we should finally address something that we haven't talked about in a very long time. And that is the crowd favorite, Nasanda. So if you're new to the channel and you don't know Nasanda, this was a rear wheel drive EK Civic me and Brian did last season. We took basically a complete 240 drivetrain and some suspension and crammed it in this car. It was a lot of work. It kicked our ass. It was a lot of fun. It was a really cool experience, but it burnt us out. I'll tell you what, but it honestly came out amazing. Like I don't want to toot our own horn, but I think we killed it on this thing. To integrating the suspension in like an OEM manner, to having the drivetrain actually look like it belongs in there. And I know it's not a K-series like everyone wanted, but I think it's fitting. Plus I did the opposite over there, so whatever. We could say so much about this car. If you guys wanna know more about it, please go watch some of the previous videos, but this car was awesome. It performed so well. A lot of these like Franken cars that you see, they just don't perform. They end up being like these show pieces, but this thing performs and that's what was really cool about it. Well, we did a couple track days with it. We had some issues with it and it's been basically parked ever since. I wanted to give myself a break with the car and it became one of those things where it was out of sight, out of mind. Now I could talk about this for a really long time, but I don't want to make the video too talky. So let's start this thing up so you guys can hear it. If I can get the key to move. Come on, come on. There we go. Yeah, yeah. There we go, it'll, it'll smooth out. So the car runs still. It actually runs really well. The engine sounds Honestly, super healthy. <laughs> it's hard to tell on camera, but man, this thing smokes. And well, if you guys were here for the adventure in the Sonda, turn that off. You would remember that I actually had to buy an S14 just to get the engine out of it because I went nuts. I bought a bunch of KAs, they're still shoved back there. They ended up being crappy. I put a pre-built motor in it. Thing basically knocked on startup. It was a whole mess and we ended up with this really junky motor that's in there now. It's literally because I just wanted the car to get together because I tried <laughs> so hard to get a motor in there. This thing is basically a polished turd. It got us a couple track days and I'm super grateful for that, but as of right now, I'm pretty sure it has a cracked piston. Last time I drove it, I went down the road, it fell under power and there was smoke everywhere. We knew it was gonna happen eventually because that motor was hurt to begin with, but whatever. So, I haven't talked about it, and I could continue to talk for another 10 minutes in the video, it's probably already been 10 minutes, uh, but I don't wanna do just a talking video. Um, but, a lot of guys remember I have a box of internals for a built engine for this thing. I talked about it a year ago. Well, I completely dropped the ball and I'm gonna take full responsibility for that. Our engine builder, JP, is a very wanted man. He is very busy. And well, I need to just drop off an engine and get in line so I can get the ball rolling. And well, today, I wanna get some motivation to do so. So we're gonna pull the Sonda out. I don't wanna bring it on the road because it smokes so bad, but let's get this thing on the dyno and see how hurt this motor really is. And maybe we can have a little fun with it, and uh, see what happens. You look widow in it, but that's, that's a good thing. It. That's yeah. a great thing. That's rare. Real rare. Mm, that ethanol. All right, easy game, not running. Having magic bucket seat for it. Still can't find a passenger EK rail. Crazy. DM my guy some rails. Damn. Yeah. It's so dusty. It's crazy to be in this thing. I didn't think it'd still move. Last time I drove, I drove it as like a, I was like, you know what? I'll get it all set. I'll drive it to Derek's shop, you know, a nice little like mile, you know, a little mile away. I get to Derek's shop, the car died. I had to put it back home. <laughs> it's running now. Ooh. Oh, it's running. Oh yeah, I had to steal the e-brake piece for Corey's car. I've never been in this car. It's yeah. actually tight, very yeah. smooth. Oh yeah. <laughs> for reconstructing the whole car. <laughs> Damn, she smokes. Oh yeah. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up, but this thing smokes like a chimney. Oh, it's like breaking up pretty bad. That smoke is something else. <laughs> oh man. She hurt. She hurt. <laughs> it's bad. Uh, yeah, but you, it's you know that. Yeah, it I know. Is. The, dude, the motor's hurt. We knew it. It's <laughs> it's NA pistons, NA rods that had the hardest life. The amount of burnout videos I got of the car that this engine came out of. Bad. I gotta back up a little bit. That that smoke. 
Hey, dude, this car is so cool. I gotta drive that motor off tomorrow. I know, you know, we need to blow this one up momentarily and then rebuild the other one. All Another right. one, cool. We're gonna smoke an All right, let's get this thing on the dyno. See what happens. Sir. D, do you remember what this made on the dyno jet last year? I think it only made like 200, right? I think it was low too. So I kept the boost down and I put it on ethanol just so I wouldn't hurt the engine so it would last a little bit longer. It lasted two events, so. I wouldn't say it lasted, but it lasted. It, it was like one and a half events. I don't know, whatever. Whatever. So it was running extremely rich before, which wasn't helping with the whole breakup issue, right? Uh, so I just did a quick cleanup, and we should be able to make a full pull right now. And it sounds kind of happy, yeah. so who knows, what happens, whatever. Happen. Uh, a whole lot of different colored smokes out the back of that thing. Oh, was it? Black, yeah. white, and blue. <laughs> uh, it said it just made 300. I don't think that's right. That's not right. There's no way it just made 300. Mate, did it just make 300? How many pounds of boots? I think it was like 10. Maybe. Maybe on a good day. But it's not really a good day. <laughs> Cleaning up the tune helped a lot. I didn't realize it was so. It was running so rich. So, um, you know what they say, they, they run their best before they go. <laughs> that's, that's a fact, <laughs> that's a fact. It said it made two, 330 horsepower. Never made that power, what power in its life? How much boost did this thing make? My dad was not that forgiving. <laughs> No, no, no. 330, that's a lot of good power. Interesting. So I've noticed with my dyno, with the way I'd use it, cars under 350 horsepower are pretty spot on to the dyno chip. Over 400, they get a little, a little more forgiving, but not by much. Well, let me pull the internal log and see how much boost it's actually making. Cause I just sent it. T3, T04E, it'd have to be making like 12 PSI, if not more. 12, 14, we're about to find out. What do you think it's making it? 14 pounds. You just copied my number. That's you said 12 to 14. Yeah, that's what he does. When we did the Super yeah, 2, what do you want me to say? he was with it. 50 pounds? <laughs> <laughs> it's a realistic number. All right, 50 pounds it's running then. <laughs> that, see, that's the enthusiasm I always wanted. I'm changing my answer. I'm gonna say 48, because that's what it fucking does. <laughs> No fucking way. <laughs> it says he's only making 7 PSI. I wish I recorded it when he said it, because he was like, he, <laughs> he rubbed his head, he like rubbed his face like, Stressed out. <laughs> it's only making 7 damn pounds. That don't make we're gonna, sense. We're gonna try something. 7 pounds, 328. Let's create a new one. Sunday, right there. Let's try something different. <laughs> Three ten. Three ten. Bullshit. That is I'm calling bullshit. We bang it through the gears. I don't think this one got the treatment yet. Yeah, just bang through it, but alright. Yeah. Her. We knew it was her. Just keep doing that for an hour. <laughs> See how long it lasts. I don't know why it's reading so high, um, but we might as well throw mo more boost at it if we can. Why yeah. not, right? Yeah. Oh, 20 yeah. Pounds. 20 That's pounds. What we talked about. I mean, if we could. It's making what? 330? Bullshit. Um, <laughs> or that ethanol is just real potent. If we can hit 500. <laughs> Let's try and hit 400. Yeah, I think 400 is doable. What'd you do? Double the duty cycle on the wastegate. Let's see, what see happens. it. Let's see it. Watch out for the rod there. Uh, it 
is making a lot more food. Oh yeah. This could end badly. What just happened? It just shot flames. It shot flames? Big flames. <laughs> making a consistent 16 PSI, which okay. is double what it was making before. The smoke is very thick. It's what? It's, it's very growing. thick. It's doubling. <laughs> Are we surprised? Holy shit! We're good. Not just scared the shit out of me. I was right there. Is it, did it spin, is it spinning the wheels on the dyno? I don't think so. Or am I slipping the clutch? Maybe the clutch is slipping. I think the clutch is slipping. No. James? So the clutch had an insane amount of preload on it for some reason, so I'm taking all the preload out of it and hopefully the clutch isn't already glazed over. I don't know why there's so much preload on the damn clutch. Hopefully. I'm expecting great things. Great or catastrophic? It should be great though, I think it'll be If cool. it doesn't blow up, it should feel sick. Let's see. But these, honestly, but KAs have been known to make good power on ethanol without blowing apart. So I just think this motor was hurt to begin with. Cause it's been like steadily getting worse since we got it. It's not like we've had any moments where it just got bad, you know? And she's holding on though. She's Still. holding on for dear life. <laughs> Holy fuck. There's 400, there's no way. What is happening? Okay, in retrospect, it probably did make that much ratio more power because we more than doubled the boost that time. Well, we doubled the boost. That was 15, 16 PSI. This thing almost makes as much as my Jay-Z. That no is way. not possible. I don't know why it says 440 horsepower. <laughs> this is the most clickbait dyno session in existence. It says it. It's got to go. Let's try and hit 500. Oh, okay. He was told? It would be a good title. <laughs> there ain't no way that's accurate. No. For all the people in the comments gonna say the same thing. They already said it about the Supra. We know. They said no way. Yeah. There is a way though. Four fifty-four. It only made one more PSI. That was seventeen PSI. The fact that this thing is, this thing's raging right now at 17 PSI. It loves it, that's it all keeps it alive. The fact that it's still running at 17 PSI. I said 20, James, 20 is the number. All right, let's see what the KA can do. 20. 20? Ugh. Are you trying to blow it up? We're trying to see what she can do. I gotta hear it in my office next door. You, you, you feel the vibrations or no, not? I just heard it and I'm like, man, is this a noise complaint? I went. That thing is hitting the limiter a lot. <laughs> boost cut, a lot of boost cut. If we can make it hit 500 and it doesn't blow up, we gotta test drive it and then see what the Then you can see. Then you can see, yeah. <laughs> 500 Dude. torque. That was 19 PSI and it made 490 horsepower, 500 torque. Bullshit. That was 19. That was, that's the number, I think. 20 pounds to get the crack 500. 20 pounds to be 504. That's it. That's all we can get for boost. That was, uh, yeah, 19 PSI is all we'll get out of the waste gear right now. But it makes 500. 500. 500. That's 500. 490. But it is funny though because like the ratio at which the power changes, right, is very spot on to boost increase. It's reading consistently, just not at the right just number. Just too high. Yeah, there's no way it's that much power. All right, tell them what happened. All right, so listen, right, we're making 19 PSI. It says we're making 500 horsepower. We're not making 500 horsepower. I looked it up, uh, other people who have similar turbos on the KA. And the KA is a 2.4, right? So it's got a lot of displacement, mm -hmm. makes good torque. The TO4 E isn't a small turbo, but it's not an efficient turbo. We're saying they're making like 430, 420 at like 19, 20 PSI on pump gas. We're on 86% ethanol. So like we might not be super far off. It might be making over 400 horsepower right now, which is mad. That is a completely stock K long block. 
I don't know how it's still together. It's definitely still smoking really bad. Like that's obviously a big issue. So I don't know. Maybe is the motor entirely hurt? Who knows? But right now we're putting 19 psi in it. We're about to hurt it pretty soon. She's loving it. Whatever. We need to build motor in this thing anyway. So uh, let's do one more pull to confirm it, and then let's take it for a rip. Blew my damn air drum out. Worth it. All right, let's take this thing off and if it, if it survived that, then that was a test. That was a test. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. All right. I'm scared to go on the road because if I throw a rod on the road, I'm gonna make a big mess. Oh yeah. First gear so far fell pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh, maybe. Whoa! Maybe. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! It took a little while to get into it, but I think that the car hopped off the ground in the back too. Whoa! Okay, it, it might be making jam right now. Man, okay, I'll tell you what. This is very good motivation to get that built motor in because uh, like if it's this fast all the time without having to stress about it, yeah. this car will be wow. fun. JP, where you at, buddy? Please enter oh, the chat. Oh, man. Oh, do that again. JP, I know you're real busy, but I got a couple fresh Benjamins that'll say otherwise. <laughs> oh! Oh yeah, she's fast. Damn! Huh? That's fun. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I've heard of KAs like living at 400 horsepower and stuff like that. But for how long is the question? Long live the KA. Long That's live the, the KA. First coming down. Oh. <laughs> Dude! Oh my god! Wow, it take, it holds the power real well too, doesn't it? It's not even that I just feel it because the tire's spinning, I feel it. Oh yeah, the car actually lunges. Oh my god. This thing's sick, dude. Oh my god. This car is so dope. Two weeks ago, I think, was like the the year anniversary of Nissan going on the track, so. This is great timing because we have a Long with the KA t-shirt coming out next week. There we go. Perfect. That's it. Long with the K. She's out here fucking heavily. <laughs> yeah. Does it look like she's partying or what? You guys are having a good time in here. <laughs> it's a great day. Great Friday. Jesus. Oh my god. Well, we had two track days with it, and I was fully convinced I blew the engine up. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's not in best condition. Uh, so Brian never really got to drive this car, which is like crazy to think about. So he just got off of work, and he gets to experience that 400 horsepower. Yeah, let me drive this thing. Hey, it runs. I think the last time I drove it, what was it, like 250 horsepower maybe? I think it was way less. I think it was like 200? 200 something. I don't think it made a lot. Okay. <laughs> okay. Breaking up. Yeah. It, it'll do that. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's breaking up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be expected. I know that me and you built this with our two hands. Oh, Four yeah. hands. Four hands, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And some feet were involved. Yeah, feet were definitely involved. Jimmy the Foot made an appearance or two. The fact that it feels like a normal car, like, like I don't want to toot my own horn. Toot away, buddy. But we did good, like, I I thought building it the whole time, like, yeah, it's gonna be cool, it's gonna be real rear-wheel real drive, it's gonna do burnouts. I didn't think it would just drive down the street like a regular, like, I'm, no, no hands, yeah. no hands. Look, ma. This is Don't ridiculous, hit. and it there's nothing weird about it. It goes though. Oh, yeah. I gotta obviously mount all this stuff still. I, it was literally like, we got it together for the track. It did great that first track day. The second track day, it was great, and then it started to get all messy, and breaking then up, breaking oh, up, and then it was just stuff. never really right ever since, and well, Things get tucked in the corner, you start doing other things, life happens, and boom. I mean, let's be honest, we were both definitely burned out. Heavily. <laughs> Dude, it, when it doesn't break up, it's, it pulls. <laughs> All right. That was a little, that was for Ant. Yeah, that was, that was for Ant, for sure. <laughs> and honestly, it could just be breaking up from fuel slosh because the tank isn't filled. Yeah, we really need to add a little baby surge tank or 
hundred percent. Jesus Christ. All right. You know, pretty dang good. All right. Not bad. Not bad. When it doesn't break up, it hits. This car drives awesome! Yeah! This car drifts great! Yes! I was just like baby in the wheel around! Yes, sir! Blasting up the transmission. <laughs> Brian, right. Brian said, Jimmy's got plenty of K trains. Yeah, I was just about to say that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, James. But I, I'm used to it in Josh's car. It grinds every time. Alright. Here, Brian. Hit the third switch in. Then floor it. I didn't know it made that big of flames. It, it never hit like that with the low boost. I was just about to say, you turn the boost up, she hits a lot harder. Oh my god. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so the KA really proved me wrong today. Clearly the engine isn't in good condition, but it's holding up for now. It was breaking up when Brian drove it, but I'm pretty confident it's just because the gas tank isn't filled up enough and it has a very poor baffling system in that fuel cell, which we kind of always knew. So I'm a little embarrassed and I'm a little upset that I haven't touched it in so long, but like we always say, you know, when something comes like out of sight, out of mind, you just kind of keep putting it off and all of a sudden it's been a year. That's just how life works. But I think today was a very good motivation to kind of put a fire into my ass for this car and get the ball rolling a little bit. So I think we should take one of the many Ks over there my bucket of internals in there and dropping off the JP, give him some time and give him some money and uh, get the engine ready for this thing. This thing is not fun to swap out, but it will be worth it. So we could just start this thing and go and not worry about it. That much power in this car feels insane. I can't imagine what it feels like in a drift. So <sighs> I think she deserves it. That's whatever. So my ass dyno says it's making high threes right now, which I still cannot believe ethanol is just a magical fuel so uh with that we're gonna end it i hope you guys like today's video getting back with nasanda just having a little bit of fun with it and uh i was fully convinced that it was like in fully hurt i didn't think it actually put up a drive like this but so be it now i guess the two nasandas are next to each other which is funny i didn't even I didn't even mean to do that um all right so i'm gonna end it there so you guys know the deal like comment subscribe stay tuned for more content we'll see you guys very shortly